Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video I will talk about the VPNs and especially for the Linux desktop. You know that there are many VPNs are available for the Windows system. But some few VPNs are available with its GUI. Yes, that means you will get a nice GUI to connect different locations of the VPN. So in this video I will talk about two very important VPN that will provide you not only the free service that means free VPN you can use of course but you have the paid option too and this is not a sponsored video definitely. So watch this video carefully because this video will be very very useful to you if you love Linux or you are a Linux user. So watch this video full don't skip any part of it. So before starting the video you have to do just one thing hit the like button and subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I will upload a new video. Ok so without further delay let's jump into our main topic. Alright so you can see that uh, I am using the uh, cosmic desktop and that's it, that is the pop os operating system. Now the first vpn I am talking about is the proton vpn. Okay, and uh, in the browser, you can go to the, uh, this is the official homepage, protonvpn.com. Now, here, how you can download the free version of it. So, just scroll down and you can see, this is the thing. Okay, now you can see, this is the free VPN. Now, when you read these things, you will see that, it also provide a free version of the VPN. And of course, you, you, you can upgrade uh, this uh, later. And unlike other VPN, there are no uh, catches and uh, they don't sell your data okay, for the profit or they don't show some ads, right? And the free version is uh, subsidized by the Proton VPN paid users. So that's very much good thing. I'm just uh, going to download this free version. So just uh, click here. This is the free version. And now you can you can see this is this is the download page and here you will get three countries and many server of it and uh, no logs this is very much important for privacy okay no logs are there what, what what you are browsing what websites you are visiting okay no logs are there okay and this is the anti sensor protocol so that means the websites and the ISP uh, doesn't recognize that you are using a VPN okay so uh, it uh, looks just the just like the normal traffic and you can of course in one time you can use it only in one device just to get proton vpn free you have to create an account uh, you can easily create this uh, thing and of course you you have to put the email address and then you just create the account and after creating the account you will be logged in or just sign in you can see i have entered my username and password and i'm just signing in and now you can see this is the uh, dashboard and all the all the plans and offers but here i have to uh, you can see this is the download tab so i'm just going to the download tab and here you can see the many versions uh, are here so basically this uh, proton vpn is amazing and it is cross cross platform you can you can see the android version ios windows mac os gnu linux chromebook android tv so I'm just using this GNU Linux version. So just click download here. Okay, and you can see this page. Okay, so now install Proton VPN. How to use Proton VPN in Linux? So these are some instructions you can read. And these these are the versions of the Linux. So I'm just using for the Ubuntu because PowerPoise is based on Ubuntu and I have to first download the day package to so download the Proton VPN day package and you can see it has downloaded so 4.4 KB of size this is and now I will go to the download folder and you can see this is the Proton VPN so just right click and open with gdb package installer if you don't have this gdb package installer first install it with the with the command just uh, you have to uh, type sudo apt install and gdb and 
uh, hit the password and it, it will be installed in your system right and then opening it with the gdb package installer it's an amazing package installer in graphical user interface and uh, for, and to installing all the dependencies just select and you can see it is giving the information that the same version is already installed yes of course because i am uh, using it right and you can see all the information about it so the version number is 1.0.3 so you can see this is the logo so just click here and you can see this is the proton vpn page so i have to first log in to my id so i'm just logging in all right so you can see this is the uh, this is the nice interface and you you can see uh, three free countries are there japan netherlands and united states and you know that netherlands is very good uh, server uh, basically for the privacy because it allows almost every website you can visit from here okay and also you will see that there are many servers are there suppose uh, in the united states you just click in the icon and you can see many servers are there okay so you can see that and also in the netherlands you can see many servers are there and green means it's okay to connect so you can see that so three countries you will get and if you upgrade your plan definitely you will get more countries uh, 50 countries right so how you can connect so you can just quick connect so the faster server will be connected or you can just connect whatever your choice is so suppose i'm i want to connect to the netherlands so i'm just click here connect and you can see that it is connecting to the netherlands server and it is connected you can see the ip address and the protocol vpn protocol and all the things you can see here now it is connected to the netherlands okay and i can close it and this is the tray icon so from here you can disconnect or show vpn you can you can show the interface right okay and also you can quit so by this way you can connect uh, to the vpn now now check that okay just uh, i want to check so i will go to the duck duck go and uh, and suppose i'm typing my ip okay so you can see that my ip is this and in the amsterdam netherlands okay now in the proton vpn you know that uh, uh, there are limitations of the three countries okay but of course no limitation of the bandwidth okay and now uh, i'm showing a very interesting vpn and the name of this vpn is windscribe and you can see this is the home page of the windscribe windscribe.com to download you just click here download windscribe and you are getting a bunch of options so windows version mac version linux version is available for computers and for the browser there are extensions chrome extension firefox and ms edge extensions and also for your phone so ios device android device blackberry device and for the tv so amazon fire tv nvidia shield kodi this is open source of course and also for your router and many more options so here basically i want to install it in linux so just click here and you can see uh, this is the uh, gui app okay and this is the cli so command line app so you have to just install the gui app and for the debian or ubuntu based system this is the command line installation guide sudo dpkgigi and the file name and this is for the fedora based distribution so rpm package will be installed so to download this so I'm just click here. So you will you are getting these two options. So I'm just uh, this is for the Ubuntu or Debian based, and this is for the uh, Fedora based distributions. So I'm using Pop OS. So this is Ubuntu based. So I'm just clicking here, and you can see it is now start downloading. So Windscribe 2.5.18 version, and size is 24.6 MB. Okay, so just wait. Okay, now it has downloaded. Now I will just open up the download folder and you can see this is. So this is a dev file. So I'm just right click here and open with the GDB package installer. Just select. Okay, and you can see this is the thing. Okay, so some details you can see. 
now to install the package just click here install package just hit the password the root password and now you can see it is down it is installing so you can see so pretty much easy installation process okay now it is installed you can see the same version already installed so installation completed now i will open it up so to open it you just search or just you can see this this is the icon okay or you can search also you can see okay now basically uh, to get started i have to log in or i have to uh, create an account right so first of all i'm just showing you guys some settings of it so this is the setting icon so you can see launch on startup so when computer starts this will also start and start minimize and close to the system tray this this is on okay so that's very nice and also you can launch uh, 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 launch and startup and also some uh, thing you can see this is the location order language and many things you can you can see this this is the this is the account detail okay so i have to log in uh, to access uh, this vpn and this is the connection preferences so you can see firewall mode and the allow LAN traffic and this is another option and you can see these are some also some settings of ssl errors okay and this is help and this is the about section so you can see the about to create an account you just get started and there you have to uh, put your email id and uh, generate a password and then a link will be sent to your email id you just confirm the email by clicking uh, that link and uh, basically if you don't uh, log in with the email then you will get 2 gb per month this is the limitation of the thing uh, limitation of this vpn but if you have created an email id then you will get, uh, get 10 gb per month okay now you can see uh, now i am just putting my username and password okay so you can see uh, this is this is the very <laughs> nice little graphical user interface and now you can see i have already uh, used some data and 8.6 gb i have left so per month you will get uh, 10 gb uh, data for one email id so if you have multiple email ids or if you can create also some temporary email ids and you can use that okay so basically uh, for one email id you are getting 10 gb of data okay so basically now just click here for the locations and you are getting a a, a variety of locations okay uh, compared to the proton vpn where you are getting three locations three countries but here you will get many options so i'm just showing you guys now you can see uh, these are some uh, free servers okay the us central uh, us east us west canada and canada west and if you click plus icon so you are getting uh, multiple options now i'll show you guys the the free servers okay so us canada and then just scroll it down and you can see the france okay one free server is there you can see two two free servers i think so and germany you are getting right and also you are getting uh, well netherlands and norway romania switzerland uk and turkey and hong kong okay so you can see a lot of options you are getting and uh, to connect suppose in hong kong just uh, i can connect to this server okay and you you can just uh, if you click here so it will be added to the favorites so so all the favorites uh, you will you will see here so favorites and you can see all i have marked with the with the favorite icon and all these things are all these servers are free to use okay so suppose i just uh, want to connect suppose okay so suppose in paris okay so france so just i want to connect and it is connecting you can see and it is connected so this is the ip address and you can see this is the paris thing and now i'm just opening my browser and i'm just opening the duckduckgo website and here i am suppose 
my ip okay so you can see this is the ip address and it is in paris france okay the speed is very decent okay you are uh, you are getting a good speed uh, with these uh, free uh, options of the countries so don't worry about that okay so it's amazing uh, vpn okay because uh, it it is it is giving you uh, different locations many locations you can see so many locations you can use of course freely and of course a paid version will uh, give you all these countries and all these servers all these uh, things i have today so if you like this video then definitely like this video and share this video to your friends if you are a linux user or your friend is a linux user and this is not a sponsored video definitely you have to do just one thing subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell icon okay you do that okay because all the future notifications of my videos uh, will will come to you thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye